Hello, welcome to my working table. Today I want to give you a tour of this sketchbook that I created and I originally created it for the 100 day project, the 2023 100 day project and I repurposed this book and filled it with different kinds of papers like mixed media paper, watercolor paper. Here's something that had already something in it. I like to repurpose or use the papers that I haven't. Like this was an experiment, it didn't work out, but I have a lot of paper still, so I want to use it. And some craft paper different kinds of papers, I like this. So this is kind of a junk, junk journal, but with papers that I feel inspired by. And this originally was the Guinness Book of World Records, and now it became the Happy Book of Flowers, because I was supposed to make a hundred flowers. So this is the first one and I'm using a dip pen and white ink to create this first illustration. I love working with my dip pen and ink. I think it's, for me, is the best white pen that I have found. It does have a trick to it. You have to get the, how it works. But once you get that is, I really love it. So, this book, I didn't start it, it wasn't chrono chronologically, uh, but let's start from the beginning. And here, this is a canvas fabric that I glued down and I painted and then I collage on top using different papers and then painting on top of the collage papers. And this is this page is similar to that. I've already had used this book for something that it didn't work for me, so I repurpose it and I added flowers to it. So these are flowers also collaged and then painted on top using colored pencils. This is a lot of collage and free cutting all these shapes and I think this might have been the real first flower that I created for the 100 day project and here I use some acrylic paint collage and this is a very thick paper uh, maybe a watercolor paper and this is deli paper which has a little bit of translucency and you can see some of the other leaves below. I wanted to experiment with a lot of different techniques, like try things out, see what happens. And for this page, I used Frisket, and that is some like a latex thing that you put down and it will reserve that part and you can paint on top. It's used a lot with watercolor painting. So you can paint on top and not worry about what's below. And then you, you pull it out. So here I use some acrylic paint and some dip pen again. Here also dip pen and some color pencils. For this page, this page was already had something in, on it, like this geometric was there. So I collage on top using papers that I hand painted myself. This is a mixture between collage and acrylic paint and dip pen and brush. This, all these little things are, these little leaves are made using a brush and ink. Here, this is more of, more acrylic paint. And I, 
Try to work on top of a page. I think you can see it here. This was a dictionary page that I painted on top. I used some clear gesso to give it a little bit of, of grab, of tooth, so I could paint on top of it. This is only using, this page is only using acrylic paint. And I really like it and I think I only, I started exploring not only the different techniques but also the color combinations and I think there is kind of a color combination uh, that you can see throughout all the book and this purple uh, you will see it later on. Now this is also using some collage and some of these details are with colored pencils. Here I use wax crayons and I really like how this ended, ended up looking because it has like a blackboard effect. Like you can still see the background and it's not completely flat. And because it's very rough, it gives that texture to the painting, to the drawing. And opposite this page is something that is completely collage. So I was really having fun, but these pages were taking me more than I wanted to. So that's, I think, one of the reasons that I didn't continue with the 100 day project. This is using a lot of colored pencils. These are, all of these are colored pencils. And here I first added a layer of my acrylic paint. And on top of that, I painted with the, with the uh, colored pencils. I used some clear gesso to give the acrylic some tooth. So my colored pencils will work better. I really love this flower, how it came out. It's kind of similar to this idea, but then I started thinking, what if all of these little petals are from different kinds of papers in the same range of color, but different papers. And I really enjoyed making this and I really like how it turned out. Now, this is the color palette that I think I was exploring in most of this page pages in, and in most of this book and it's these colors and I really like how they look together. This is a combination of acrylic and acrylic ink and some collage. Now this is acrylic ink and colored pencil and this was inspired by a dandelion. We have a lot of those here. So I wanted to create something really yellow in this part. And this, I wanted to try out this paint. This is a paint that uh, it's called Oxide Micro, Micro. I'm not sure I will put the name on, on the video, but this painting is very shiny but it also has a lot of tooth. So I wanted to try it out with my color pencils and it works really great. I don't think it's great for camera or for scanning, but it, I really enjoy that. This is working with a very favorite technique of mine that is the negative space painting. And as you can see, I have a silhouette and I painted around it to create the flower. And I really enjoy the shape that I got here. This is, a, well, it's a good flower, not my favorite, but I really enjoy the colors. And this flower is all collage papers. and. Here, what I wanted to really focus on was to get different types of paper. So this is a flat painted acrylic um, paper painted with acrylic. 
this is a construction paper painted with also acrylic but in a very sparse and using like a kind of dry brush effect here this is deli paper and these are pages from a book that I painted. Now this is, I'm going to leave this for later. I am this one too. I continue with my 100 day project here and I was getting bored and I think this is the last page that I made for the 100 day project. I'm not in love with it, but I made it. And I continue adding some flowers, but now I wanted to explore more the collage side of all the techniques because I think that's what I really enjoyed the most. So these are different kinds of, of papers and of thicknesses of papers. And now I'm starting something that I was uh, exploring a little bit but now I explore it a lot more and that is uh, drawing on top of my collage paper and as you can see even if this has some texture I created more texture by adding the colored pencils Ooh. this is a tracing paper and I think I, I really enjoyed the idea of having something that I could see something that would be different when you turn the page that you could see everything that's behind. So I explored that later here. This is a very simple flower that I really, really enjoyed because I love these ledger, old ledger papers. I find them very beautiful. Here is another very simple one, but what I tried to do was to create a, an interesting background using an old book and some ledger paper and deli paper. And then the flower on top is more simple, but the background is what makes this page, I think. And this is something that I have to work on later. As I told you, this wasn't chronologically. I jumped from one page to another so you can see like, oh, this is new. This doesn't have anything to do with what was going on here. And the possibility is that I made this earlier or really later. And I really enjoy working with this technique that is very, very watery, almost like watercolor paper, but then add some uh, details using the color pencils. Now this little flower I really love because it has what I told you that old ledger paper and it gives it a lot of personality to a very simple illustration. This flower I did not like and I'm seriously thinking about creating a new one because mm, I don't like it at all. And this is from the other set of flowers that uh, are done with a very watered down acrylic paint. This flower I made in a little piece of paper that I have somewhere and I decided it will go perfectly with my book of flowers. So I added some tape here and glue it down. And this is where I am with this, with this book right now. But remember, we have this. And what happened here was there was a gap. I think you can see that there's a lot of space between this booklet and this booklet. And I decided that I wanted to add a new one. So here it is. I added that little booklet and it's completely different from the flowers and from everything I have shown you. And this first one, I want this page was already painted. I used a paper that had paint on it already. And I was inspired by those colors to create something that was really contrasting with those colors. So I chose this. This is like a salmon color with some oranges and some mm, 
fluorescent or neon color over here and in some places. And this is working with a negative, negative space painting. I created the silhouette and then painted my tiger and added some of this collage leaves and I really love how it turned out and I wanted to explore it more and I explored it more in this little booklet. These are images that I'm always attracted to like palmistry and so I wanted to see what could what I could come up with. Here this is a page that is worried waiting for me to work on it. And actually this is a canvas. You can buy these little canvas pads or big canvas pads or different um, sizes. And I wanted to add it. Maybe you can see here a little bit of the texture. I wanted to have one of those in this book. I love making, one of the reasons I love making my own books is because I get to choose what paper I add to it and you can be as crazy as you want you can have as many different kinds of papers that you want to try out so this also becomes like a sampler to see what you enjoy and well I always love working in books so this is why I have a book now I think this cat needs something else it's too lonely there <laughs> These are more tigers because once I created this guy, I was, I have to create more. I'm so in love with that way of creating and also with the image of a big cat that I created both of this. So this one is inspired by an image I saw on some matches in Pinterest on match labels and I wanted to recreate it so and I really love it it's it's over the top it's too much the colors are way too bright but it's in my book I have to only see it when I open my book and that's that's okay for me now I, I took making these little leaves took me a lot of time but I was enjoying it and I think that's the important part is how much enjoyment you're getting from what you're doing and I was really enjoying this so I have a lot of those ferns. Now this page is waiting for me as are these pages and you can see here this is one of the pages that I use for this book. I really don't know what this was but for some reason it was in my stash it was where i keep the papers that have something on them but i haven't used completely so i use it on this book and now i have like a background that that is interesting and that will inspire me to create maybe it will inspire me to create something and here's the other part of that canvas waiting for something to happen this is a little illustration that I was trying to create I don't think it's the best thing but that's what a sketchbook or art journal is for me a place a safe place where I can try things out and and see what happens if the result is not the best that's perfectly fine and this is another cat. His face is really weird, but I love the colors. They're so over the top. These are, I painted myself these flames and these are in fluorescent yellow. And then I used some deli paper and painted it with the same color. And because deli paper see, it has this translucency, it gives it some dimension and I really love how it came out even if it, this little guy has a weird face I really like the whole painting so that's it that is my 
tour for this book that I still have a lot of things to do and I think I still have some place you can see right here I still have this place to create another booklet like I, I did right here right here so who knows what is going to happen so I hope you enjoy my walkthrough and that's it bye